Hi, I'm Niharika and I'm going to talk to you today about how to dress yourself for different body types and different body parts and when you're trying to hide something or when you're trying to show off something. Uh, chunky arms. Okay, or just remember, I think the biggest myth is for big people is that they should wear bigger clothes. Um, it doesn't work like that. You shouldn't wear body fit clothes. But if you're big, you should always wear things to your size. So you don't look bigger and you don't um, accentuate what you're doing. So if it's something that's too tight on your arms, it's going to accentuate it. And if it's too loose, then it looks bigger than it normally is. Uh, someone who has a petite chest, you can um, actually wear a lot more than big chested women because um, you can cut your clothes through here and close it down or open it out. Um, you, the minute you accentuate and make it bigger on this side, you look smaller. So if, you're, if you've got bigger hips and a small uh, chest, then what you need to do is give yourself a little, either a little fall or maybe a little skin show here. So you work it into that fashion and it depends on, on your body type and how it moves. A heavier chest, um, again, you have to be really careful with a heavier chest. You can't do, unless you have a heavier chest and small, um, a narrow waist, then you can let your chest show. If you have a heavier chest and a heavier waist, you have to cut yourself in through here. So you have to wear v-necks, you have to wear, wear stuff that, you know, that falls off your shoulder, something that, that gives you that sense of it taking away from, completely away from, from the heaviness that is, that is related. Bulging tummy, not much you can do with that. You have to, just don't make yourself square. The minute you have something that's square when you have a bulging tummy, it doesn't work. You wear, wear things that are a little more in cut here, so it shows uh, your side and then, you, and then you take it. So anything that has an empire waistline, so you do an empire waistline and then you let it, it drop over. So you, you've, you've made yourself really sleek and beautiful here and then you've opened yourself out here and you wear tighter pants. Um, bigger hips uh, is actually really sexy nowadays. So what you do is you accentuate your waist, you let your hips um, you let your hips show. If you don't want it to show, you do the straight leg pack. Try and avoid that. But it is it is sexier to show it, and it depends on what your shape is. If you like it, I, as I said again, if you have the square shape, then you have to cut it down and make sure that you do a cut somewhere in your body. But if you have big hips and and you know a narrow waist, then you accentuate the narrow waist and let the hips come out because the hips are something that all Indian women have. We are proud of them and we should show them and it is a sexy part of our body. Um, thick thighs, again, you have to keep your thick thighs and straight leg down. The minute you wear um, skinny jeans, your thighs are going to look broader than that is. So you have to break it here. So if you have your thick thigh, you break it at the point where your thighs are narrowing down. So your kurtas or your shirts, your t-shirts all come to that level and then it narrows down further. So it takes away from, from the, uh, the thick thighs because that needs to be taken away. So if you have a, like I said, if you have a bigger hip, then that's perfectly fine. But if you have the thick thighs, then you have to cover that to the point where it can. So you do that. If you like this video and you better, I'm really cool, then subscribe to Pink Villa.